McCarthy becomes interested in this question about libraries, which are run by the State Department. These are kind of stores of American literature, American books, American uh, history, fiction, so on. These books were supposed to be across a spectrum of perspectives with all but the most overtly propagandistic anti-American books being included. And McCarthy looked at that as a uh, invitation to see where there was communist subversion. I think the committee has disclosed a fantastic picture in the information program. Some 30 or 40,000 books by communist authors distributed throughout the world with our stamp of approval, allegedly for the purpose of fighting communism. How do you start this investigation? In their way of thinking, you call in the authors of the books who have no idea that their books are in the USIA shelves. One of the authors says, I don't even have a copy of that book. It is odd to decide to haul the authors before the committee because the authors did not put their books on the shelves of the libraries. And you could have a group of librarians, supposedly, and just bring them before the committee and bully them about why they chose this book as opposed to that book. But the real spectacular headline generating potential is in finding authors, people whose names are known to the public. The Constitution obligates me to say a word or two about the origins of this. I am a student of American history and Mr. have been Mr. Glass, for many years. Uh, you're ordered to answer the questions only. We're not going to take a lecture from a man who refuses to state whether he's a member of the Communist Party as of this moment. I must refuse to answer that question, basing my refusal upon the privilege granted to me in the Fifth Amendment and in line with your word, sir, I wish you would allow me to spell out that privilege and what it means and why I am evoking it. No, I don't think everyone in this room knows this. Very few people know this. Why don't you give me a chance to state this? At that time, a lot of occupations like government workers, school teachers and others were subject to instant dismissal from their jobs if they took the Fifth Amendment. In many cases, it was people who were quite willing to admit that they had once been in the Communist Party and they had left the Communist Party. But the next question was always, who did you know when you were in the Communist Party? And that's the thing that people didn't want to do. They were willing to talk about themselves, but they were not willing to give a name of somebody else. <laughs> 